What if the last living relic of the dinosaur age is being bred only to end up on someone's dinner plate? Lurking in the icy mountain streams of China, the giant salamander looks like a creature from the Jurassic period. Reaching lengths of up to 1.8 meters, it is the largest amphibian in the world. But while its prehistoric appearance is captivating, what's equally remarkable is the scale on which it is now being farmed in China. Is this massive effort a path to conservation or a new threat to the species? In China, the giant salamander is raised on a large scale for both commercial use and conservation. The farming process is generally divided into two main stages based on the animal's size and development. The breeding season usually occurs in late summer. During this time, males occupy burrows in an effort to attract females. Once mating occurs, the female lays between 400 to 500 eggs, which the male then guards for two to three months until they hatch. These eggs, measuring about five to seven millimeters in diameter, are laid in long chains and attached to surfaces inside underwater caves. In captivity, maintaining proper water conditions is crucial to ensure a high hatching success rate. During the larval stage, from birth to three months old, salamanders are raised in clean water tanks with a stable temperature between 16 degrees Celsius and 22 degrees Celsius and high levels of dissolved oxygen. At this stage, they initially survive on their yolk sacs, then gradually begin feeding on plankton insect larvae, and small crustaceans. As they grow legs, usually around three months to one year old, their diet shifts to include earthworms, small fish, shrimp, and insects. From one to three years old, in the juvenile stage, they are capable of eating larger prey, including small frogs, crabs, bigger fish, and sometimes even other salamanders if food is scarce. Maintaining a stable environment is essential for healthy development. This includes keeping the water temperature between 16 and 22 degrees Celsius and ensuring a constant oxygen level. Cleanliness is critical as well. Changing 30 to 50% of the water weekly, filtering it regularly, and removing uneaten food can reduce the risk of disease by up to 70%. By the age of one year, the salamanders typically grow to about 30 to 50 centimeters in length. At this stage, they're better at hunting and can be moved to outdoor enclosures or artificial streams, allowing them to grow in more natural conditions. Once the salamanders reach market size, they are harvested and sold either to restaurants, traditional medicine markets, or conservation initiatives. Farmers collect them in carts and transport them to a weighing station where the salamanders are counted and logged before being sent to their destinations. The Chinese giant salamander is considered a delicacy and holds a special place in Chinese cuisine and traditional medicine. It is often prepared in dishes such as salamander stew with Chinese herbs or stone pot salamander soup. Known for its high nutritional content, the meat is believed to offer numerous health benefits and is also used in medicinal formulations. Are we saving the giant salamander from extinction or farming it straight into a different kind of death? <laughs>